taking them? No, I'm not going to take them today. It's going to rain, I think. It's going to rain on me, Avery. See you later. High five. Okay, we'll just sad moment in history right here. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Can I get a high five? Okay, I'll see you later. We need like five fish today. Deal? Good talk. So guys, it's going to be 81 today. That's great, 81 cloudy, giant storm rolling in tonight. I'm talking like a problem of three or four somewhere around there. That's not really tonight, it's kind of midday. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be 39. 81 today, 39 tomorrow. What is going on, spring? Ah. Son of a... There's a, gotta be a pool of just coffee down in here. I just spilled my freaking cup of coffee in the base of the seat. Yep, that's, that's good. That's good. On a good note, look how waterproof these seat covers are. Yep, there's just coffee flowing. Yep, it's just flowage. Good. Good start. Dang it. Okay, it's just coffee everywhere. Just gonna throw it out there, that little mannequin thing. It's got smally spotters on. Also, I'm really stuffed up, if you guys can tell. Allergies, full effect right now. Full effect. Those are some smally spotters. Well, Flair, what do you think the water clarity's like? Don't look too bad. We're gonna make a run way over there. New lake today. It was a new lake yesterday, but it's also a new lake today. I try to fish as many new lakes for you guys as I possibly can to kind of change things up and for my myself, I'd like to learn. Well, fishing a new lake, you learn something new like almost every single time. Right. Look how far my truck's still in. Come on. Yeah, you have to keep coming. Oh my gosh, my tailpipe's underwater. All right, we're good. That is shallow. You're thinking of square bill? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, we're gonna need this sucker. Just a regular Texas rig rod. And what do we say, a flipping stick? That's a frog. There it is. There it is, Flair. You ready? Thought starting out the day, ladies and gentlemen. We got, I don't even know what the water set is. But anyway, I'm gonna say square bill, uh, finesse jig, flipping, something to flip, and then of course a Texas rig. That's what I'm gonna start off with. This is what I'm talking about. Where are you at, little finesse jig? I know I've got you somewhere there. Look at that. You eat it? Okay, then I'll, s you know what? I'm actually gonna start with all this rock that's here. Probably gonna start off with a, uh, that finesse jig. Let's do it. Oh man, that sick stick flings it. Gonna need a little bit of drag to set the hook on this. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the fairy wand down, just due to the fact that this brush right here is probably gonna break me off. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it. There we go. You know what I just thought to myself? I even said it out loud, I said this bank is shallow, shallow. So I just threw it out in front. Flare? It's my kind of fish right there. Yeah, it's all that matters. Now look at that, that bank doesn't look good. No, but they- I know, I, well I just cast like right out here. That this is, the, that was the first cast I've done off the bank. I don't know anything about this lake, so all we know there could be brush just littered through here. There's a ball of bait. So I'm gonna throw it out there. It is very, very, very windy. We are in the very northern half of the lake. I wanted to check some pockets up here. They didn't really, well, they didn't really produce very much. So we're actually going to load up and head south. Because as you guys can tell right here, it was just a tad bit rough. And we're like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and trailer it to another boat ramp, launch, and then start from there. Because it would take me probably 20 minutes to get to the south side of this lake in that kind of rough water. Not worth it. Like, nah. Round two. <sighs> Let's look at the map. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, you guys may not believe this, but this is the same lake we were just on. I know this sounds really crazy. We came to this most southern half, and I'm going far back as I possibly can in this creek channel just to see what the water clarity is like, but take a look at this. I'm talking, this looks night and day different. Up there was like giant rock and small bush. Down here, it's thicker trees and green. Right now, we are literally just going way back up in a creek channel. Mainly just wanna see what water clarity is like and temperature of the water. Right now, we're sitting at 65.7, which means we're two degrees warmer than we were at the northern end of the lake. Good talk, Flair. Good talk, buddy. But this does look like flipping paradise all throughout here. This looks good. Well, I guess we'll give her a send back in here. 
Water clarity is significantly different. Look at look at that. Oh my god, that is clean. It's just like the stain. I don't think I've seen this clean of water in this area of Texas. Look at that. Holy crap. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know yet. Look at that. I don't know if I'd be throwing black and blue in this stuff. I mean, look at that. Let's give it a shot. Let's actually see, let's see if we can actually catch something first. Because I don't know if there's anything, anything back here. Go. Come on. Come on. Oh, come out of the bush. There we go. I just switched up from that freaking uh chartreuse and white over to a green pumpkin yeah, first, that was cast. Like first cast. Same yeah. Thing. There we go. That's a better one. There we that go. Has he got anything in it, you think? I don't know. His belly looks pretty bulgy. Pudgy. Dude, he's pudgy. Okay. I'm actually liking this quite a bit more now. So Flair's actually caught one fish. It had a crawfish down his throat. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? I'm gonna let him flip and I'm gonna switch over to like a green pumpkin chatterbait. And uh, dude, look at this. It is got it. And the only reason why I changed it up is because the water clarity here is significantly cleaner than where we were just a few minutes ago. Well, a few hours ago, it seems like. Where are we at here? There we go. I'm talking, look how clear this is, guys. Look at that. that. This is not normal for Texas. This is like some northern stuff. I don't really know what's going on and why this water is so clean back in here, but I like it a lot. Got him. Got him. Got him. There we go. Wow, he darted quick. He just ran right into the side of the boat. What are you doing, dude? Flair figured something out or said something out loud a second ago that kind of made sense. I know these aren't like absolutely giant bass, but we are fishing a very, 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 very clean body of water for Texas. This this is like a, I'd call this an ultra clear creek for Texas. Like no doubt in my mind. He's like, man, green pumpkin. The first cast I had on a chatterbait was green pumpkin, caught a fish. His first flip with a green pumpkin uh, creature bait, caught a fish. I think green pumpkin's the key to today's success. Good job, Flair. You're doing big things with your life. Real question is, as we go further to the mouth of this thing, going towards Main Lake, is there going to be bigger fish? Fish? Oh, he came off. Did you see him? No. Oh. Was he big? I mean, maybe three, maybe two and a half. Hook didn't even come out at all. Didn't get exposed. Dang it. Got him. Got oh, him. That's, that's a big one. That's a big calm one. Calm yourself. That's a big one. That's a good fish. Dude, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Dude! That's a freaking giant! Damn. You caught a big fish. Holy <laughs> Oh, I just need these allergies to go away, Flair. I told you I had the head of an eight. That's some clear water bass action right there. Clear water. Good fish, Flair. Hey. Up there, got him! Good fish! Got me one. Oh, geez. Wow, he well, he got a second. Oh, okay. He got a okay. second wind. He goes, I'm not done. Oh no, he wrapped him. There we go. He goes, I'm not done. There we go. He was deep. He was deep in a creek. Creek deep in a shallow creek. Woo! Hey, last two fish have been not too bad, huh? I'll take him. That's a good All day. Anything in his mouth? Uh, a little, no. A little lipstick action. He's good. Look how white he is, though. I wonder how fresh he is. Or he's just living back here, one of the two. Zinga! I like that. That makes it feel good. We got Flair on his biggest fish all year, I think, right? Yeah, or no? I think so. That's Flair's biggest fish, which is great. I still think, while there still is a chance to catch another giant, I would count that as a giant fish, by the way, right through here. Whoa! How the f how did that just happen? No way! Yep! No way! Yep! Good fish. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Good, a good fish. fish. Good fish. Whoa! That's a good fish. What, what the heck just happened? What? You about drilled me with your weight, and then all of a sudden, this, look at this tank. Look at this tank. That's a, that's another good one. Oh, no, 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 no. No! No, no! no. no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh. I saw it too. See this tree limb? Yeah, yeah. See that tree limb? Yeah. Oh. That's a, that's a heartbreaker there, folks. Oh, I'm gonna take the blame for that. That was easy. I don't know what do you say, six plus all day? Yeah, six. yeah all day. All day, six plus. Uh, mm, I said this yesterday. I had one uh, break me off in the same kind of stuff. I, I literally said, I need to grab 25 pound test. I need to grab 25 pound test. And I'm out here flipping 20 again. That's, that's uncalled for. That is once again my fault. <sighs> Son of a gun.
lost two big fish two days in a row because of my ignorance. Now this this man right here, this gentleman and a scholar, if you guys want to follow him, he'll be linked down below. He did catch a big one today. He's generally known for small fish. Pretty rare. Yeah. But today, the big one. Made it happen. Oh, I will tell you guys this right now. I'm gonna be an area I do fish again, 100%. I do love flipping, but I, like I said, I, I I don't think it's right for me to go out there with the wrong stuff. 25 pound fluoro, said it like three times in the last two days. Mm, I should have done it. <sighs> kind of like I probably should have taken my hat off because my hair looks. Who are you talking to? <sighs> yeah, I just took like a two hour nap and I feel phenomenal. I was, I was like going downhill today. I was like, like when I was fishing, I was like, oh man, I still feel her. You know what I mean? That's one of those kind of days, I feel glorious now. Avery, you still tired? I saw that face. Are you eating chicken nuggets? Hmm? I'll tell you guys this right now. Sarah makes this, I don't even know, what is this stuff called? Mexican beef stew stuff? I don't really know. It's like chili, Mexican style chili. Not a clue. Oh, no, no, I wanted to show him something. I wanted to show him something. See this right here? Do you guys want to see how sharp this knife is? Do you think this is going to slice through it instantly? Can you hold the bag? I'm just going to go. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna run over there. We're gonna actually see if they have some. I got a certain kind of flipping line I'm looking for. As I just I told you guys, I make the mistake again. Okay, all right. Now I remember why I don't have any 25 pound test on any of my reels. It's because it's $30 a spool. Now nah, that's that's that is. Wow, I was lost for words. I completely forgot. I had to buy two spools of it. I mean, just let that sink in for a second. 60 bucks for two spools of line for two reels. But I got this really, really, really nice baseball for Avery. She's gonna love this thing. She's gonna, she's gonna love this thing. Hey, on another note, if I would have had the 25 pound today, probably wouldn't have broke off. So it's really not that big of a deal, I guess. Fishing, just endless, it's a big money bit. Avery, Avery Rose. I got you a baseball. Also, I got your ice cream. Yep, baseball. Uh, Avery's asleep. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, we got four chapters done. It is 9.33, I just got off the phone. We just got done doing a little, little I think, I think you wanna call it like an interview. It's kind of like an interview. It's like a recorded thing where I tell and it just types or he types. I, I don't exactly know how it works, but four chapters deep. We got another mm, 20 or so to go. Don't know, 15. Maybe little, but you guys know. Click that button right there if you've not seen them, and then click the one right below it. If you haven't already, click right over here and subscribe. Do it to it. Love and peace. Love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging.